Hello, this is Titans Beats, and today I'm doing mission 6 for the Halo 3 No Death Legendary playthrough for the mod Combat Devolved 2.0. And I got the score legendary, the Iron Scale, and the Grunt Birthday Party Scale. The hardest part by far is the Scarab section. Um. I went down the barrier bit where you're meant to go, and that makes it so much harder, I reckon. So I won't be doing that again, ever. That's something. Enjoy it while you can, Marines. Okay, as as we land, right back to it. Priority one, secure a landing zone for the commander's frigate. Okay, keep your eyes and ears open. We need all really the intel we can get. The way I've always done it is so much more safer. Go, go, go. That way you always get a tank, otherwise if you do it, go the other way the tank's gonna come out and you're actually not gonna get a tank that easily or you're gonna like stop the tank and the race is gonna kill you so it's just best it to not In the sky. do it is that how you meant to do it and sort of jump down to the um bit. Chief, eyes on! Got a good angle. <laughs> All right, so I like to focus on. Any brutes I can focus on, and then there should be more brutes. like going through that bill. I know you're a lot weaker on this Halo in general and like the brew shots can just instantly kill you at times. So dangerous. Players and pistols do a lot of damage to you as well, because those players and pistols are just so much stronger than base game. So, um, if the marines do die, you can actually take their assault rifle and that helps a lot against the hunters. Um, God damn it, man, I hate this. I hate the bubble shields. More contact! Who's the man? You're the man! That's right! Let's take them now! Keep pressing! What happened to you? When did that happen? How did that marine go flying? Oh boy. Not good. I don't like this, I can move.
Right, we've got the hunter down quite well. I guess I didn't need to worry about using that, um... I was going to say, the, the assault rifle, but the assault rifle would work. Like, if you just pretend you're playing Halo 1 and using the assault rifle, it always works. What you have to do on Halo 1 if you don't have a pistol or something, you have to take it out from the assault rifle or... A, probably not the only real option. Sniper rifle if you have that. Shotgun can work quite decently, but it's just risky. Like always with shotguns and hunters. Hey, where are you going? That's one player with my pistol. It's just how strong they are in this game. Like, on this mod, in, this anyway. Like, they're normally fight. a lot weaker. So, what I like to do is I focus fire on that guy at the group shot. If you don't have this better rifle, if it was like all we went to was in this mod, you'd probably just use the um, sniper rifle. But because this better rifle is just so good. Move up. I'm not sure if I've killed everything, but I know if you wait for a little bit, just wait here, the uh, enemies will come. It was always strange why there was five enemies here, but there was actually one on the side. So that's three of them. There should be two more. I think there was three of them. Well, at least that's another vehicle that's not going to run me over, which is awesome, which is um, a good thing. Let's find that LZ. Follow us, sir. All the way down this canyon. So I like to use my sniper rifle here, but I like to also wait for those marines and stuff to use their vehicles and drive them way over the cliff so they don't run me over. not really a bad thing if you use it all now because I'm going to switch it out for a sentinel beam very soon anyway. Um, the marines should kill that ghost and if not, they are just useless. In that case, but yeah, I've got a shield for if I need it, the bubble shield. Yeah, I thought they were going to get them. It would have been weird if they didn't like beat the front of the ghost when there's like so many of the Marines alive. 
I wouldn't go walk around, like, walk to this vehicle, because the uh, Marines will run you over. So I like to bust these two parts here. The problem here is going to be the uh, two, the other two choppers. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to get me killed. You're literally in the way. Gotta watch out here for those um against your old grunts, but kill everything here you'll be able to like go to the next area and pick up your tank Still alive? Oh god no. The players are just so silly. Nearly died. How do you like it? And I forgot about a sentinel beam. I'm an idiot. Should help us fix troops location. Secure the LZ and we'll push through that wall. Roger that. Follow my Pelican Chief. The LZ's this way. How do you boost this thing? I, I like can't boost but the Marines can and they always run me over. And it also hurt me when I jumped out of it, but I don't have enough bullets either for what I need. I need a lot more. Like, way more. jump out and the vehicle blows up, you're probably going to lose your vehicle. Um, ooh. I don't know what one's a good one, but oh well. One or the other. I also don't know where the sentinel, the sentinels are, exactly. Help me up these ghosts. Mm -hmm. 
I seen it moving, it is moving, it's waiting for me to run around the corner, it's gonna kill me. I want to use my shield if I can later on. I don't know if that was the other grunt though. I'm very curious. Like, where did the other grunt's body go? Definitely knows how to use that fuel rod though. It was using it like a race, like you need to on this mod. It's pretty awesome. I must have had one of those um, grunts died earlier or something. I don't know what happened, but. Yeah, definitely not feeling too safe because I don't have much better rifle bullets for the next area. What I'm hoping is, there's like a battle rifle or something here with those these dead marines. There we go, I got some. I had a lot less than the, um, what I've got on my gun now. I've got a lot more. Way more than I had. So I'm so happy. Is that 120 bullets? 28. I'm going to take out this wraith and then I'm going to take out that blue wraith, the other one, and then I'm going to take that out the other wraith after I take out everything pretty much. Like, it'll be my last thing to worry about other than the enemies over there. I'll, the enemies will be my last thing, but the vehicles and stuff, the other anti-wraith will be my last vehicle to worry about. Being very aggressive. No, if you go back, they go back, and then you can shoot them again. I might go back, so the other one goes back. What are you doing, Grunty? I'm trying to sneak in the ghost and go behind me, you I think that was the plan, but it's not going to be happening. So I really thought like after I passed that tank part, I couldn't possibly really die anymore, but to be honest, this was a lot harder than the remake mod version of this level, and probably it's probably similar to the base game, because I haven't exactly done the base game. Halo 3 sort of deathless for this mission, so... I love how it doesn't know it's really cool, I'm happy that fuel rod is bad at just like this whole fuel rod on this level. Or this mod, should I say, is just absolute utter useless, but it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Gonna hurt 
than me, but... Um, it, <clears throat> it shouldn't kill me. Unless it blew up when I was on that red health. But I think there is still a brute alive somewhere, as I remember. He's got a brute shot, so. We'll be out of careful. Nope, he's got a brute spiker, but still a bad weapon to deal with. Tough one. So I don't get hit by anything, so you never really get hit by anything if you stay here. <clears throat> that just despawned me. Thanks. Wouldn't have lasted much. Yeah, part of the um, top of the fight spawned. Did the elites get a fix on the cartographer? Yes, ma'am. Just on the other side of that wall. I'm gonna say. But it's surrounded by brute heavy armor. Yes. Don't worry. I can tr trade like the uh, sort of assault rifle with her and see what kind of battle rifle I can get off the others, like bullet wise. They must like change their weapons or like pick, take their weapons out there once that happens. Okay, yeah. So they're partially. Never mind, I'll just keep what I've got. Should be heaps. Should be four ghosts and one of those brute vehicles. Never learnt the name. It's like the Prawler or something like that. But I never use it ever. And so that's why I don't really know the name. And it's only ever been in this Halo. In like a couple levels. Like level Tosava Highway and the Ark, the Covenant. I think that's it. Maybe the Storm. Nice work. So um, as I come out of here, I like to shoot this um, vent straight away because like you can actually try and kill it with five shots before all the enemies get out. And then you can destroy this. What I was trying to shoot there was that turret. Look at him go away through those bad guys. I think I did kill all the enemies as well, which is awesome. Alright. You gotta be ready because sometimes the ghosts and stuff can come very early around that corner. Sometimes they're a little bit more further away, but most of the time they come straight around. And they're shooting at you, like ready to shoot you. So you gotta be ready for that. I shot a bunch of the grunts over there that had a bunch of them had blue rods and stuff. Usually you can kill a whole lot in one shot if you hit the right spot, but for some reason some grunts are over there and stuff, so. I don't know what, what was happening, but because that wraith, I mean that warhog standing there, probably gonna lead to the um, fan, that wraith, so. Now 
doubt there should be some ghosts coming, but I really like to kill these guys now, if I can. I have a chance. I'd love to kill them now. Oh. You're gonna make your life hard later on. Like literally when you're trying to kill a wraith, a new wraith that's gonna be coming. So should be two ghosts here. Yeah, well, you're also our ticket through this wall. So if you don't mind. As I can say, I think I did kill all of the uh, enemies there. Say, where's that wraith? What's he even doing? Rip. Ah, oh, that's in my way. That's not good. I sort of want to deal with the wraith if I can. Hey, everybody, give him some room. God, I thought that was a grunt. The marine talking. I'm going about to throw a grenade because my TV's on like really quiet, so and that's how I'm hearing some of the mic I'm using is not exactly a headset, so it's like yeah I have to use sound from the TV here the game. There we go. Alright, so there should be a bunch of grunts and stuff, but Is it over? Alright. I don't know if I should do this. Maybe I shouldn't, but... Alright. Fine, take it. For a doorway to a fire, such group possible. Okay, sir. I got shotgun, but I just found a sweet spot on that one. Never mind. Here we are. Please follow me. I guess I just don't get more bullets, I guess. So the sentinel beam, um I pretty much use it to shoot out grunts out of ghosts, the fastest way to kill a grunt out of a ghost, in my opinion. Just by doing that. Be a marine, but that marine is literally invincible. Um, that wraith over there got me killed when I tried to try a, a method of grabbing the marine. If I just drive up here, he should deal with the ghosts pretty fast, right? Oh god. Normally kills them straight away, but I try to go down there, and oh boy. Does it never work? Alright, so I've got something. I've got an idea. Can you guys... Oh my god, hurry up. Oh my god. Alright, so I've got way too many of them. Oh my god. No. So slow. Alright, Scott, I'm just gonna go in and 
Go hard out. And just take everything I can. Ghosts are usually something you want to worry about more, though. The wraiths are very troubling, and this thing is moving very slow and painful. It's really painful. Ghost down! God, what? Get out, Scarif, what the hell? It's like, it's shooting, but it's not even that height. It's like, what? I must have shot like, way before, and then moved really fast. But it was like, shooting from up there, but it was down there. That's dead. He's like, oh, I've, I've done the business. Now steal. Hang on a minute. We've got some trouble. Looks like a Robocop face. Look how it moves. Alright, I, I sort of need to get it in a good position. This is a bad position. If I can get it, like, turning more over there, like where I'm looking, turn that way, I can run over there and shoot it's back when I make it fall down, but what I'll do, I'll just keep shooting it's legs to different More places. Contact. So usually, when you keep shooting it, it's going to keep moving. Good. I want. Yes. No way. Alright. Got it where I want it. You don't. Crap. Back. Awesome. And then just give me that little area that I need of you. Then. Got it. I find it a lot easier using a tank now than anything else. Oh, um, my one's really better off. Mine or his? His is more burnt, I think. I don't know. I think it's just more that he's in the shadow that makes it look worse, but. Alright, so if you can kill a bunch of the um, fuel rods and stuff. Grunties. So sneaky. Got for long. Alright, I'm trying to um, see if there's any jackal that crew can go. Killed one of the brutes there. Okay, there's a lot. In mind. Wherever I aim, it like stays shooting there. It's great. But I've found that if you go up here, tank, like just up this way, it's gonna. Oh god. How did they survive out of anyone? The at the top of the spire, Chief. 
awesome. Why is it like wherever I shoot, it, like it seems like I move a little bit, it will still shoot there. It's great. Hey Jekylls, what's going on? I, I only seen me kill one of them, like my, for the score and stuff. Chief, box mountain entrance up top, follow him inside. Oh god. I seriously hate the um, bubble shields and Halo 3 for brutes. Like how much they use them. They use them more than I do and I should be the one using them. I honestly don't know though if they've killed that Jack the Sniper, eh? Like, I'm curious. Why is there red dots everywhere? There's so many. Freaking me out. Hold well done. Position. Hmm. I really need to like here. take my time now here. and. It seems I've crossed the circle. Don't do anything stupid. Ah! Oracle! Little bastard stung me! As I said to I Oracle in another video, where I was like, a taking shoulder. like, a bunch of damage and like, he was just sitting there and the, the Covenant weren't even shooting at him. I was like, why don't you shoot the Covenant Excellent. when this like, way. how he shoots at me, when like, on the last level where you've got to kill a boss. Oh, kill them as this. I just see it's the safest way is not to try and back smack. I've tried to back smack him before, and oh boy, it got me killed. I'll never do that again. It's put me off to do it even in the base game, which it would work, but it's too risky now. Um, oh, was that? I thought that was a needler. You don't really see much needlers though, like they don't really carry them that much. They mainly carry those new plasma pistols that are quite nice. Alright, what's the section? I think... Okay. I say no. It's a lot easier with the Arbiter. Alright, we're doing it quiet. Oh god. <laughs> I just know though, you um, die very, very fast from brute spikers on this. It's really silly on how fast you can die. Ah, uh, what is that? Suicide grunt. I'm happy I seen it. Could have maybe snuck up on me later on, which could have gone really bad. I don't know if I should take a plasma pistol and sort of like plasma pistol the brutes with the charge and then take them out like that. Because, yeah, today I I ran around the corner, like through the door sort of thing. Not here, like at the next area, I believe, after Arbiter uh -oh. like takes the banshee and stuff. Oh no. Uh, it's 
not do that. Let's not make yeah. enemies. Alright, what's this part? Oh god! Alright guys, you guys can do what you gotta do. Arbiter? Let's go. God, I don't want to die from a brute shot. Like, How is this following, sir? I'd rather like have them get shot, like the arbiter and stuff get shot, and then I can just third party a little bit. That would be good. The areas later on are the way more scarier ones. I feel god damn it. Brutes and brute shots are my most feared thing at the end of this level. Okay, I'd love that shield, holy. I'd love it, but it's about getting it. What are you waiting for, Arbiter? I'll help you. I'll kill him. You kill him and you kill a brute. Alright, so... Oh god, that brute gave me a goddamn fright. Stupid brute. Alright, I've got an actual good idea. That shield might be better than the bubble shield in general. For a certain part that I'm wanting to do. Because so I can put it by the door, and then I can actually shoot through it. And it might actually save my life. So I've got the max bullets for like the base game, 108, for my better rifle, but... It's definitely not the max bullets, but what I like to do here is actually run around the outside here. Just so I'm safe from that banshee, so it doesn't kill me. Arbiter should take it anyway. Once Arbiter's taken it, you're a lot safer. <sighs> this is where I died, right here. There you are. Where do my marines? Is there a marine at all? Or, uh... This has to be a smart idea. It's also going to make it so enemies can't exactly run into here. Alright. That went well as, like, really good. Huh. About this. What I'm scared now about is dying to something stupid like that. Alright, so I think 
now that that's over, this next part's going to be the invisible brutes, and then it's literally the end, I think. As I remember. The pack will feast on you! I don't like this because we're gonna probably, like, probably come up most likely. And I don't know if they stay down there exactly or they actually come up. Oh god. Oh god. They do. Gotta watch my radar, but crazy. So they do throw fire grenades on this as well. Why is that doing that? Like, why is it? What? It didn't kill him? How? I'm confused sometimes. This is really confusing. Is that an invisibility or a pad? curious a little bit. Okay, there's so many invisibilities and it's awesome because it's definitely saving me a little bit. Oh god. So I did see a gravity hammer guy, I believe. The one thing I'm terrified about is I don't know where the hell he is. But again, I remember on the remake mod, once Jackals came, that meant it was like the last wave of enemies. Like, I remember there was grunts and there was, uh, brutes, but, yeah. It just means, I guess, there's not that many enemies. I thought I seen a gravity hammer guy, eh? Like, I did. I know I did. Where is he? Ah! It might be the gravity hammer guy that goes down to the bottom for a 1v1 later on. Could be him. But now I don't have the shield for that end part, but I'm thinking, who the hell is that? Went in there. <laughs> All right, so it is the end, the end end, and I'm thinking, I'm hoping, can I go back here? I can. Hang tight, Chief. We're on our way. Any of the brute shot guys I'd love to kill now. So they're going to be the guys that are going to kill me out of everyone else. Out of everyone, in a way. Oh, let's let's uh, hope. Where the goddamn are they? Can I go back in there? I can. Awesome. That's something to run back to. The door.
Right, is that... Oh. Is that everyone? For some reason, my gut's telling me it's not. If I keep running over here, it should end the mission if everything's dead. But I feel like there's a brute still alive. Ah! My gut was right. ETA down quick. Stand by for pickup. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm going to skip the cutscene because the video has probably been quite long anyway, 51 minutes. But this mission was very hard compared to the remake version of this, the re Halo 3 remake, it was a lot harder. Like, I mean, like the remake version, like the Halo 3 remake mod was a lot easier, I mean, than like this version or the base game probably, like the base game on the arc's quite hard as well. But thank yous all for watching, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Probably it's either going to be the Covenant or it's going to be um, the next mission on the Rubies campaign. It'll be either one or the other I'll be doing next. Let's see you then.